What's up guys, Shoney Dogs here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the auger. I've been using this gun for some time now, even though it just came out yesterday, and I've been going through pretty much all of the attachments. I have them all unlocked. I was trying out different combinations because I saw that this thing had some serious potential, and I wanted to see what could bring it out the best. There were some moments where I was just completely melting people, but then others where it was taking quite a long time to kill, and I realized that the main reason for this is the recoil is just really random on this weapon. Those first few shots where you don't fire super fast, they are pretty accurate, but after that, you really just want to stop shooting and like regroup because once you get into that full auto firing mode where it just speeds up, your accuracy is going to turn to complete garbage. So you want to sort of burst this thing and it's really weird getting used to that because this thing is a massive minigun, but it is a nice burst fire weapon in disguise. In my video for the epic variant of this weapon, I said you got to realize that it's a shotgun and use it that way. This weapon, you have to realize you're pretty much holding an M8. After those first four or five shots, you're not really going to be able to hit much. Obviously, it's going to fire much faster, but what good is that if your accuracy doesn't hold up? Now, I'm not saying this thing is an M8, not by any means. I'm saying you have to treat it like a burst fire weapon. You can't rely on that super fast fire rate after the first few shots. Now, the main reason for this is it allows you to take advantage. Those first four or five bullets that you shoot from this gun, they have virtually no recoil and you can kill in those four to five shots. Now you would think the time to kill would be drastically improved if you just kept firing this thing so it reached that full speed, but you're not going to be able to hit. It's just way too inconsistent. The recoil gets really high, so that's not going to help you. Now the one minor change that I made that took this weapon to a whole nother level is this tracker sight. I don't know what it is, if it's a placebo effect, but it is definitely working. The instant I put this tracker sight on, I felt like the recoil was a lot easier to manage. It was almost nothing even in that full auto mode and I was going absolutely in. Any long time subs to the channel know that I never use this tracker sight. I always prefer that ELO. I think it's a lot better. Definitely the most accurate sight in the game. But for some reason, I use the ELO on this weapon as well and I just didn't like it. I felt like I was doing a lot better with the tracker. I managed to go 39 and two in this game. And you could see even when I'm firing in that full auto, I was controlling it pretty well. I was melting people left and right and just had a really good game. So you definitely got to try this out for yourself. Let me know if I'm crazy down below in the comments. It was something that I definitely was not expecting. I do try to use all of the attachments for weapons when I lock them just to see how they fare. You wouldn't think something as simple as the tracker site would make a difference, but for me, it made a huge and noticeable difference. But don't take my word for it. Seriously, try this thing out for yourself, guys you won't be disappointed. I think this is definitely the better of the two guns that they put in. The trencher is pretty good, but honestly, that slow fire rate and the low damage output, they really just ruin the gun. It is so, so accurate, and that's why it's not a bad gun to use, but that fire rate and damage output just hold the gun back, and I think this LMG is so much better. I'm sure you guys know my thoughts on LMGs if you've watched my previous videos. I don't think that they take a whole lot of skill just because of the amount of ammo that they have, and they usually boast pretty fast times to kill as well. This light machine gun is no different. You just got to know how to use it, how to make the most of it. It's a strange weapon for sure. It's not like anything else in the game, so it does take some getting used to. But once you get past that initial hurdle, you will be melting people in no time. Even going up against other good players, this gun really holds up. The time to kill is there, and that fast fire rate helps out a ton. Now, after this gameplay, I have a live comm for you guys. That one is on Breakout. I managed to get a nuke for one of my subs. If you don't know, I have a Patreon page. A link to that's down below in the description. Now, before you guys light your torches and start chasing after me, I'm telling you, any YouTuber out there that gets like nuked outs or just regular deatomizers for subs, they never do it for free. So instead of simply charging for nukes, any supporter on my Patreon that pledges $15 or more, I get a deatomizer on their account if they choose, but that's not really the point. If you choose to support me on Patreon, I hope that you're doing it because you enjoy my content 
and that serves as an outlet to support me further. Now, could you just spend the $15 and right after I get the nuke, just cancel immediately following? Of course, but that's really not the purpose. The, the atomizer just serves as an added bonus. It's like a thank you for being my supporter. I'm saying that now because I already had one person in my comment section question the ethics behind it. So there you have it. It felt really good getting the nuke, just knowing that it was not on my account and it was for someone that really does love my content. That's the whole reasoning behind it. I just wanted to make things clear and be as transparent as possible. And it was actually pretty hard to get this nuke because he was only a level 21. He had prestiged already, so I did already have dead silence, but I was not able to use overclock. I couldn't put all the attachments that I wanted to on my K-Bar also didn't have the advanced UAV unlocked, so that complicated things a little bit, but I still managed to pull it out in the end. I hope you guys do enjoy. Peace. Alright boys, it's our time to shine. Let's be real here. I did not, I didn't press anything. Did not press it. It's just the enemy conspiring against us, trying to ruin that start. Little do they know. It's a close one. Wow, that kid is just sitting in a head glitch. He's gonna get flanked. There she is. Oh. Free kill, free kill? Nope. Not today. You better not eat, take that head glitch. Oh, okay. Oof. Oh. Too close. Not seeing anyone. Oh. I'm just, I'm scared. I feel a flank coming. I don't want to call this in because then they'll just be sitting in the building. I don't even know why I have it on. good if you have an advance to go with it, but... Oh. That man was for real. Enemy UAV. Typical. Almost halfway there. Challenge. Yeah. Why are they getting streaks on us? A vulture and a counter? Who's getting these? Oh, these are teammates that are here. Hopping around like elephants. I heard a, a trip mine, that was scary. There's the vulture. Oh, it didn't chase. Maybe it's using a variant. Come on, give me that. There she is. Oh boy. And off, boys. Hashtag nukes for subs. They do have a UAV, though. And your boy is not using Ghost. This could get interesting. Oh, we flipped. We flipped. Probably should not be hitting the flanks without Ghost. But we're doing it.
Oh, here we go. Chase me, please. Nope. Don't do it. He's dead. Oh, that's that's a scary sight, man. That was the specialist, too. Could have insta-melted me. We got our rewind back, though. So we're golden. They just keep getting UAVs. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm alive, actually. There was a lot going down there. No one's- oh! No way. We are not challenging that. Enemy Scarab. I will go to the back of the map. Because that thing's chasing me. God damn it, man. Five off, baby. I think we flipped again. Oh. Oh. I have a feeling they're around here. Don't know where. No way, dude. I barely heard that guy shoot. Wow. And he was just sitting there aiming. Could have ruined everything. I'll take this free kill, though. The one off. This is what separates the men from the boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There she is. Take me home, baby. I'm out of here. And that's all she wrote. I forgot to say anything after I got this nuke. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. For some more great videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.